Hello everyone, I'm finally back today with a video of me and Grumpy Grace. I know it's been forever, almost a week since I've done a video, but um, I've been busy, as you know, with homeschool and that's okay. I'm trying to work around it. So this weekend, I get to do my baby things. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to do a change of video with Grumpy Grace. I'm going to lift her head up so you can see her better. There she is. And she's got beautiful eyes. She was made by um, North Star Reborn Nursery on Facebook. And believe it or not, she was made as a boo-boo baby, but she's gorgeous. And her only boo-boo is where she had some scratching um, and imperfections in her sculpt in the vinyl, which was not... It came like that to the artist. But anyway, she's a gorgeous girl, and I'm so happy that I got her. And I definitely think pink is her color. What do y'all think? She looks so good in pink. She has her hair up and little pigtails. And I did put her in this um, nice sleeper that the seller sent her with. I think it's so pretty on her. I think she really does look good in um, pink. So I'm going to take this off, and underneath... She is going to have the cupcake onesie on. I just left it on her because I think it's really cute. So we'll leave that on her. Well, no, I may take it off because I'm going to try to put a little spring dress. And I know it's actually turning into fall weather, but um, she's. I want to see her in that dress because she's going to be so cute because it's pink and white. So I'm going to try it. And if that dress doesn't fit, I do have the backup of, and it's so funny because when I'm changing her clothes, you know, like I'm pulling limbs through, it's catching, it's catching her little hair on her limbs. So funny. I did debate whether to pull that out, but I kind of, for now, I think I'm going to leave it because I think it's really different and it's really cute of her. See, I can pull it off. I can pull off some limb hair because I'm so pretty. So... There's her little onesie and her passy. She looks so cute with her passy. I think pink is definitely going to be her color. And I'm going to walk around here and get the get her dress. And this is what I like to put on her. I don't know if it's going to fit. If you can see the top, it's a light pink. Right here where I'm touching, light pink. And then it's got the, all the lace on the bottom. And she has bloomers with it, but I think the bloomers are going to be huge. So we're probably not going to put those on her. So what I'm going to do, the easiest thing, I think, is I am just going to slide it on her down here. And I do have, I've learned now, sometimes by just looking at it, I can't tell if the uh, outfit is going to fit. Especially if it's like, not a, um, just not a normal, you know, it's not normal to the size. So now I bring two outfits. If I'm not positive it's going to fit. Let's see which one fits better. This one looks like it might be way huge on her. Let's see. Let's see, I just... Actually, I don't know. It is pretty big, but it might work. Let's see. It's going to be huge up around the neck here. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. It's kind of huge, but what I'll do is I'm going to... I think I think she looks cute in that. What do y'all think? I think I'm going to leave it on her. I mean, it's huge because... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to button it. And then later on, what I do sometimes if the outfits don't fit, especially for the girls around the neck and stuff, I have these little clips. They're actually um, the metal... I don't, they're not exactly paper clips, but they're used for office. They're binder clips, I think. And if you get the really tiny ones... They work really good to put on the back of their, um, the neck of their clothes. And you won't see it because it'll be cinched up like this. And it just holds it. Those work really good for a tip. If you don't mind it in the back, you know, nobody sees it in the back. So there she is. I think I am going to keep her in this outfit. But I'm probably going to have to change her bows because the red bow doesn't match. But I think this weekend I'm going to go shop out shopping. I'm going to try to get some, um white maybe like the plastic clips that look like bows or something i'm going to get some of those for her especially for pigtails so that way she'll match that was a quick change in video wow 
At least I know that it will go on her. And I'm going to put something in the back of her neck to cinch it up. So I just wanted to show you her and look how pretty her little lips are. I'm going to add a little bit more pink to her nose, I think. Maybe her cheeks, but she has beautiful painting. I really like it. So she's all ready. Let's see if she'll sit up by herself. Let's see if there she goes. She'd be a big girl and sit up. Look. She's sitting up by herself. She's a big girl. So I guess I'll talk for just a couple minutes since that was so fast. Her changing. That was quick. She's, she was changed quickly. She's being a good girl. And I love her eyes. If you want to go over to my... I can't remember which one I put it on. I think I put it on my Facebook page. It's called Nevermore Fantasy and Human Reborn Dolls. And it's a long name. But if you just type in Nevermore Fantasy and Human... Um, on that page, it's not exactly my nursery page, but it, it is, I created the page and it's where any, you know, the members can post any type of dolls at all, really. They don't even have to be the typical, um, reborn. I mean, basically you can post any dolls on there. We do not discriminate against types of dolls. Everybody's welcome. So there, I, I did put a new picture of, um, Grumpy Grace here and it's so cool because the sun was going down and it was shining like light directly on her sunlight directly on her eyes and face and it looked so cool the effect looked really neat so if you want to go see that picture it's on um nevermore fantasy and reborn page on facebook and y'all probably familiar with my um nursery page that's blessing reborn dolls on facebook that one is um for me just to post dolls that i have created and made myself and a lot of my, um, some of my, some of the people on there are just fans, but, um, a lot of them are, you know, repeat customers. So they, sometimes they, they can post their dolls. If I've made them, they can post their dolls on there. And that page, you can see, um, you know, things that I'm, dolls I'm working on, babies I'm working on and upcoming ones that I will have for sale. I know I've said it like probably a hundred times now, but I do, I am working on those tiny silicones and they will be up on the blessing Reborn doll page. Hopefully, you know, in the next week, a couple weeks, they'll be up there and they'll be for sale. So this year, I'm likely going to be selling those because I don't have time to make, you know, any more. I usually make the normal size, regular size, newborn, reborn, reborns for Christmas to sell, but I'm not going to have time this year. I may make one if I have time, but I'm not going to promise because I don't like to say that and I can't do it. But I may make, end up making, um, one of the fawn ones, you know, the, the fawn kit from Bath Baby. They make it like a little reindeer or a little Rudolph reindeer for Christmas if I have time. But I hope I will, but I don't, I, I'm not sure about that. But whatever I end up making, I will keep you on for and let you know. So Grumpy Grace says, I'm looking pretty cute in my pink and white dress. I know it's uh, heading into fall time, but she wanted to wear that. Because she just got here not too long ago. So she's going to wear that. And I am determined this weekend. I am going to weigh my silicone. And see how much I have left. And see if I have enough to pour that preemie. Um, micro preemie girl. If I have enough to pour her into the mold. If I do. I'm going to go ahead and just do it. Because I've been waiting forever. To get time to do anything. So I might have a surprise for y'all. On Monday I might have her poured. Hopefully it will be nice. And I am going to try to do some a couple more videos this weekend. At least one more, maybe two, if I can get them in. Because I hate falling behind on my videos. I don't get to do much during the week except school and house. You know, taking care of the house and family anymore. But I'm hoping that's going to change a little bit. We'll see. I'm hoping so. I hope all of y'all are well and blessed. And I will be back again hopefully i will be back tomorrow if not today and do another video i want to change one of my um babies i don't put on camera that much her name is well her nickname is um sugar lump that's what i call her and i don't change her very often she's a pretty little baby she was made by my best friend she was one of her first dolls that she made she doesn't make babies anymore or at least not this time because she has her own coming up to be one year old baby boy so all her time is going to him of course but anyway so i'm going to try to bring sugar lump on and change her into the outfit um that 
I was talking about that I tried on Saskia's, but it didn't fit at all. So this is the one that I was going to try on Sugar Lump. And I think I remember that. It's such a pretty outfit. My other best friend sent me that, so I want to put on one of my babies because it's a gorgeous outfit. And that's all I wanted to show you today. I didn't realize that the, her, the Grubby Grace is changing. It was going to go so quick. So I hope y'all enjoyed hearing the updates and everything going on. And I will tell y'all this. Very good news at the end of this month. Uh, well, October, around October 24th, the last week of October, my son is going on vacation with my parents, so I will have the whole week to do baby stuff. I'm so excited. I can pour babies, I can paint babies, and likely that week I will probably be close to finishing up the um, baby for the reborn dog giveaway. So the end of October, hopefully she's going to be done because I'll have the whole week to paint and do baby stuff, so I'm excited. Because it'll be a vacation for me where I'll get to do baby stuff and catch up on all my stuff and videos, of course. But I will talk to you soon and probably later today or tomorrow make some more videos. And if you have suggestions about who you'd like to see, which baby you would like to see in the video or types of videos, please give me suggestions. Um, I really appreciate suggestions because they help me keep going with ideas when I run out of ideas. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're blessed and having a great weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Stay safe and stay blessed.